In the hushed, expectant atmosphere of the courtroom, where the air seemed thick with the hope of new beginnings, a young girl named Judith sat silently, her eyes wide with a mix of fear and anticipation. Dressed in their finest, the Waynes, a couple exuding confidence and warmth, awaited the judge's decision that would officially welcome Judith into their family. The room, filled with people expecting to witness a heartwarming chapter in the life of an orphan girl, seemed ready to celebrate what appeared to be a joyous union. As the judge prepared to speak, the room was charged with an air of expectancy. Social workers had lauded the Waynes for their kindness and the nurturing environment they promised to provide. Observers were touched by the couple's commitment to giving Judith a life filled with love and comfort. The narrative surrounding the adoption painted a picture of a fairy tale ending, a serendipitous turn of fate for a girl who had only known the austere life within the orphanage's walls. Yet, beneath this idyllic surface narrative, Judith's heart was pounding with a fear she had kept hidden. While the room buzzed with talks of new beginnings and joyful futures, she felt trapped by a secret dread. The warm smiles, the heartfelt congratulations, and the promising prospects of a new life with the Waynes felt discordant with the ominous feelings swirling within her. Then, in a moment that seemed to suspend time itself, Judith's voice broke through the silence. Please, don't let them adopt me, she implored, her plea cutting through the courtroom's formal atmosphere with the sharpness of a knife. Her sudden outcry sent ripples of shock and confusion through the crowd, leaving a trail of stunned expressions and hushed murmurs in its wake. The Wayne's smiles vanished, replaced by looks of disbelief and hurt. The judge halted, his attention shifting from the documents in front of him to the small, brave girl who stood amidst the sea of adults, her plea echoing in the now heavy air. Judith's bold interruption transformed the day's proceedings from a straightforward adoption hearing into a complex web of emotions and questions. The once predictable event was now fraught with uncertainty, compelling everyone present to confront the unsettling reality that perhaps there was more to this story than met the eye. In the orphanage, far removed from the solemnity of the courtroom, Judith's life had been one of simple daily routines amidst the company of other children who, like her, yearned for a family. Yet even in that environment of shared longing and camaraderie, Judith had felt a distinct sense of being different, her inner turmoil hidden beneath the surface of orphanage life. Now, her courageous outburst had peeled away the carefully constructed veneer of an ideal future, revealing the deep-seated fears and doubts that lay beneath, and challenging everyone present to reconsider what they thought they knew about this young girl's best interests. Judith, a young girl with an astoundingly mature intellect, often left adults bewildered and somewhat hesitant. Her inquiries cut through the ordinary, and her profound insights revealed a depth of wisdom that seemed out of place in someone so young, setting her apart in a society that usually values conformity. She lived in an orphanage, a place that provided safety yet rendered her invisible amidst its echoing corridors and the predictable cadence of daily routines. The nuns, with their warm smiles and encouraging words, fostered her spirit, but even their affection couldn't protect her from the sting of continuous rejections. Prospective parents, initially captivated by her sharp intellect, would inevitably pull back, deterred by societal biases or daunted by her intense curiosity. Judith's hope for a family seemed forever just out of reach, overshadowed by her unique nature. When the Waynes came into her life, they ignited a flicker of hope in Judith's wary heart. This couple appeared to see past her exterior, to appreciate her humor and be impressed by her knack for mathematics. For a moment, the world seemed brighter, and the dream of belonging to a family appeared attainable. However, beneath this veneer of hope lurked dark secrets. One restless night, driven by an unsettling premonition, Judith discovered the horrifying truth. Eavesdropping from the shadows, she overheard the Waynes discussing not familial bonds but transactions and deals, planning to sell her to a shadowy figure for profit. This revelation was a profound betrayal, morphing her dream into a living nightmare. Driven by fear and a strong will to protect herself, Judith decided to take a stand and expose the Waynes in a court of law. It was a risky move that made her the center of attention, making her feel vulnerable yet tenaciously resistant. Her action was not only a fight for personal safety but also a defiance against the malevolence that sought to engulf her. Armed with nothing, but her resolve and a fragile hope for justice, Judith faced the courtroom. Despite her small stature, she embodied immense bravery as she stood ready to confront the Waynes, her evidence poised to either break her further or begin the healing process. 
As she unveiled her truth, the recording of the Wayne's conversation played, stripping away their facade of deceit and exposing their sinister intentions to the courtroom. The revelation sent shockwaves through the audience, throwing the room into disarray. Judith's boldness not only challenged the Waynes but also served as a stark reminder of the power of truth, even when voiced by the seemingly powerless. Her courageous act marked a turning point, not just in her life but as a testament to standing against wrongdoing, no matter the odds against her oppressors, her story unfolding on the national stage, could not be ignored. The crumbling facades of those accused, now glaringly evident under the spotlight of their heinous acts, found no refuge as the judicial system swiftly enacted its righteous verdict. The judge's decisive hammer was the harbinger of justice, its sound resonating like a clarion call across the hushed courtroom. Officers, with purposeful strides, approached to enact the law's demand, their movements mirroring the palpable tension and anticipation that filled the air. In the wake of Judith's courageous confrontation, her world transformed overnight. What was once an indifferent media landscape suddenly burgeoned with interest, eager to chronicle the tale of the young orphan who defied her grim circumstances. The community, previously unaware of her plight, now rallied in support, their actions a testament to the collective will to uplift and protect one of their own. This groundswell of support was not just a fleeting moment of compassion but a profound recognition of Judith's bravery, which resonated far beyond the confines of her immediate struggle. Judith, who had once navigated the world as a mere whisper among many, emerged as a symbol of hope and resilience. Her story, broadcasted across various media platforms, served as a poignant reminder of the importance of heeding the voices of the vulnerable. It was her unwavering spirit in the face of adversity that not only safeguarded her future but also cast a spotlight on the often overlooked ordeals of others like her. Her bravery became a beacon, guiding the way for a societal shift towards greater vigilance and empathy. Meanwhile, Judith's story, now a catalyst for change, reached the hearts of many, including Jackson and Janice. Their living room, once enveloped in the silence of loss, was now filled with a glimmer of hope as they watched Judith on their television screen. The sight of a familiar pendant, a poignant reminder of their daughter taken from them years ago, ignited a spark of recognition and resolve. Compelled by a mix of parental instinct and a desperate hope, they saw in Judith not just a brave girl taking a stand, but a possible link to their own long-lost daughter. Judith's act of defiance, therefore, transcended her personal battle, weaving a narrative of hope, resilience, and the potential for miraculous reunions. Her courage, immortalized in the recounting of her courtroom defiance, became a powerful narrative of how standing firm in the face of adversity can inspire a collective awakening to the virtues of justice and compassion. Her story, a vivid illustration of bravery's ripple effect, underscored the indelible mark one individual can make, altering the course of many lives in unforeseeable and profound ways, the path leading to Judith was intertwined with a spectrum of emotions, doubt clashed with hope, sorrow intermingled with the potential for boundless joy. Upon their arrival, the atmosphere was charged with anticipation, and as their gazes locked, years of anguish and yearning dissolved. Emotions overflowed as tears streamed down their faces while they exchanged their heart-wrenching narratives. They recounted the harrowing tale of a kidnapping that had shattered their family, followed by years engulfed in despair, mourning a child they feared was lost forever. Judith absorbed their stories, her heart swelling with a complex tapestry of feelings. The emptiness born from not knowing her origins, the sensation of floating aimlessly in life, began to be replaced with a newfound sense of belonging she had scarcely allowed herself to imagine. The unveiling of her true identity, the reconnection with her biological family, served as a soothing salve to her soul, long wearied by uncertainty. This reunion transcended a mere gathering of estranged family members, it embodied the resilience of family bonds, shining as a beacon of hope that even in the bleakest moments, the radiance of love could pierce through the darkness. The community that had stood by Judith in her time of need now rejoiced in this miraculous event. Their unwavering support became a pillar. As the family embarked on the journey of healing and reclaiming the life that had been unjustly taken from them. As Judith assimilated into her newfound yet familiar life, her perception of the world underwent a transformation. The anguish of her past, her trials and fears, began to fade into the background, eclipsed by the love and warmth of a family reunited. 
She ventured into a future no longer defined by her past sorrows but by the love that enveloped her and the fortitude she had demonstrated in overcoming adversity. Judith's story, a narrative weaving through despair and culminating in joy, emerged as a beacon of hope for many. It served as a poignant reminder that courage, the power of heeding one's inner voice, and the indomitable spirit of hope could lead to the most astonishing and beautiful outcomes. Her journey, marked by courage, resilience, and a miraculous twist of fate that reunited her with her family, stood as a powerful testament to life's potential for redemption and the enduring capacity of love to heal and transform lives. After watching this story, how do you feel? Then there is an another story about adopt a young girl. Let's continue. In the heart of a war-torn African nation, amidst the tumult of conflict and despair, John Henderson, a skilled and composed UN pilot, was executing a crucial rescue operation. His mission was to navigate through the skies of a country ravaged by relentless war, a task that tested every fiber of his being. The only sound accompanying him through the desolate expanse was the pulsating rhythm of his helicopter's blades, cutting through the air like a solitary beacon of hope. On what seemed like just another day marked by danger and uncertainty, John's life took an unexpected turn. When he piloted his helicopter over the remnants of what used to be a bustling town, now nothing more than a shadow of its former self, disaster struck. A missile, launched with no warning, exploded dangerously close, its impact sending his helicopter careening towards the ground. Amidst a cloud of dust and debris, John managed to land, albeit in a precarious situation that left him stranded in the epicenter of chaos. Stepping out into the ruins, John's heart raced as he took in the devastation that surrounded him. Buildings were reduced to rubble, and the air was thick with the scent of destruction. It was in this moment of despair that John's gaze fell upon an extraordinary sight, a young girl, Amara, standing alone amidst the chaos. Despite her disheveled appearance and the dire circumstances, Amara exuded a remarkable sense of composure and resilience. At just eight years old, her eyes reflected a maturity and depth that was both unsettling and awe-inspiring. Amara, clutching a makeshift doll, symbolized hope and endurance. Her courage in the face of adversity struck a chord with John, reminding him of his own daughter back home, safe and sound, a stark contrast to Amara's vulnerable situation. In that moment, John saw more than just a survivor, he saw a child who, despite everything, held on to hope. Compelled by a profound sense of responsibility and driven by a newfound purpose, John made a decision that would alter the course of their lives. He chose to adopt Amara, to bring her into his world, thousands of miles away from the turmoil that had defined her early years. This decision marked the beginning of an extraordinary journey for both John and Amara. As they navigated the complexities of their new life together in the United States, a deep and enduring bond formed between them. They faced challenges and celebrated triumphs, each moment strengthening the connection they shared. John provided Amara with a sense of safety and belonging, while Amara brought a new perspective and purpose into John's life. Twenty years after their fateful meeting, the impact of John's decision to adopt Amara came full circle. The young girl who once stood alone amidst the ruins had grown into a remarkable woman, her life a testament to the power of resilience, hope, and the unbreakable bond forged in the most unlikely of circumstances. Through her journey, Amara repaid John in ways he could never have imagined, embodying the very essence of gratitude and love. Their story stands as a poignant reminder of how a single act of kindness can ripple through time, transforming lives in ways beyond measure. With a tenderness that contradicted his rugged appearance, John approached Amara, lowering himself to her eye level. He introduced himself gently, assuring her of his intentions and safety. Pointing to the U.N. badge on his uniform, he sought to convey that he was there to help her, promising to lead her away from the desolation and peril that had consumed her life. Despite the turmoil around her, Amara's gaze remained steady as she absorbed John's words, nodding in understanding and extending her hand towards him, a gesture of trust born from resilience. As they made their way back to the helicopter amidst the shadows of the ruined town, John felt a profound connection with Amara. He recognized himself not just as a rescue pilot but as her lifeline, her guardian, and her beacon of hope for a future beyond the war-torn landscape. Moved by Amara's courage and the reflection of his own daughter in her innocent eyes, John made the life-altering decision to adopt her, offering her a chance at a life untouched by conflict. 
Their journey took them across continents, from the heat and dust of Africa to the lush greenery of rural America. With each legal hurdle overcome and paperwork filed, John felt the weight of responsibility grow. Bringing Amara into his home meant more than just providing her with shelter, it meant introducing her to an entirely new world, one filled with unfamiliar customs and experiences. Amara adapted to her new surroundings with remarkable resilience, finding joy in simple pleasures like cartoons, fireflies, and exploring the local supermarket. Every day brought new discoveries and challenges, but through it all, the bond between John and Amara deepened. They learned to navigate the complexities of their relationship, finding solace in shared smiles and moments of quiet understanding. As Amara adjusted to American life, she faced her fair share of obstacles and uncertainties. Yet, with John by her side, she found the courage to embrace this new chapter with curiosity and determination. Together, they embarked on a journey of healing and growth, forging a bond that transcended borders and circumstances, a testament to the power of love, resilience, and the human spirit. Amidst the backdrop of America's serene rural landscapes, a remarkable transformation was unfolding. Amara, a young girl who had once navigated the devastation of war-torn Africa, was now thriving in her new surroundings. She embraced this fresh chapter with an open heart, eagerly absorbing every new experience while cherishing the memories of her past. For John, witnessing Amara's growth and integration into her new environment was an incredibly rewarding journey. He had taken it upon himself to introduce her to the English language, familiarize her with the intricacies of American cuisine, and guide her through the customs and traditions that shaped her new home. Despite his initial concerns, he couldn't help but beam with pride as Amara seamlessly wove herself into the fabric of his community. Their journey was complex, filled with emotional highs and lows and cultural learning curves, yet it was uniquely theirs. From the moment John had committed to offering Amara a new beginning, he was aware of the challenges that lay ahead. However, as they forged a deep connection, navigating through these obstacles together, John was reassured of his decision. Amara had become his daughter in every conceivable way, and the thought of a life without her was unimaginable. In this new chapter in America, Amara discovered her sanctuary within the walls of her school. Her natural curiosity and eagerness to learn were evident as she excelled academically, leaving her teachers in awe. However, it was in the field of engineering where her true passion was ignited. Her fascination with mechanics and engineering principles was evident from her early experiments with the backyard tractor to her elaborate science project models. Amara possessed a remarkable ability to grasp complex concepts, making connections that many found elusive. John observed Amara's burgeoning talent with wonder. He had always believed in her potential, but her fervent passion for engineering exceeded all expectations. Committed to fostering her talents, he invested in engineering kits, sought out online courses, and arranged for her to meet with local engineers who could mentor her. This not only provided Amara with the resources she needed to explore her passion but also strengthened the bond between them. Their shared moments, whether working on projects or celebrating Amara's achievements, were filled with laughter and a deep sense of accomplishment. Their relationship was a testament to the power of love, support, and the unbreakable bonds formed through shared passions and experiences that I in the heart of their home, an extraordinary father-daughter dynamic flourished, paralleling Amara's academic achievements and blossoming interest in engineering. While she delved deeper into her studies, a curiosity about her origins began to emerge, pulling her towards the rich tapestry of African culture. She peppered John with questions about her homeland, eager to unearth the memories of the brief time she had spent there. Amara yearned to connect with her biological roots, the life that might have been hers, and the cultural heritage that continued to resonate within her. John, ever patient and understanding, navigated her queries with candor and sensitivity. He realized that acknowledging her past was integral to her identity. To aid her quest, he shared photographs from his missions, recounted tales of her people's endurance, and sought out African communities within their city. These efforts provided Amara with avenues to explore her heritage further. The task of fostering Amara's talents while guiding her through her personal history was a complex one, yet John and Amara undertook this journey hand in hand. Their relationship only deepened as Amara gained a greater understanding of her ancestry and her enthusiasm for engineering. She grew increasingly thankful for John, the man who had saved her from disaster, adopted her, 
and enabled her to pursue her dreams. Their story was one of profound love, mutual respect, and the realization that their connection was based not only on adoption but on choice and shared life experiences. Two decades since John, the adept UN pilot, had adopted Amara from a war-torn African region, their lives had intertwined, creating a strong, unconventional family bond. They celebrated each other's achievements, provided support through challenges, and emerged more resilient from every obstacle encountered. But then, an unforeseen health crisis struck John, casting a shadow over their lives. The once dynamic and adventurous pilot was now battling a severe, rare illness, leaving him bedridden and sapping his vitality day by day. Local medical experts were baffled, but hope shimmered on the horizon with an experimental treatment suggested by an international medical team. However, this treatment came with its own set of challenges. It hinged on acquiring a scarce mineral exclusive to the very African nation where Amara had been found. The pursuit of this mineral was fraught with hurdles, entangled in bureaucratic red tape, hazardous terrains, and a complex interplay of local and international politics. This new ordeal tested their resilience and ingenuity, propelling them into a race against time to secure the one thing that could offer John a fighting chance at survival. The devastating news of John's illness struck Amara with a profound sense of shock and urgency. John, who had been a constant source of strength and guidance in her life, was now grappling with a life-threatening condition, leaving Amara as his beacon of hope. Gazing upon John, whose eyes once sparkled with vitality but now reflected deep suffering, Amara realized the gravity of the situation and the critical role she had to play. Reflecting on John's past acts of bravery, she made a resolute decision to journey back to her homeland in pursuit of a rare, essential ingredient needed for his treatment. Amara, once a young girl navigating the horrors of a conflict-stricken nation, had grown into a remarkable engineer due to John's unwavering support. Now, she was poised to embark on a perilous quest, risking everything for the man who had once saved her. Despite facing skepticism and concern from those around her, including John who feared for her safety during his moments of clarity, Amara's determination remained unshaken. She was driven by a profound opportunity to save her adoptive father, refusing to be hindered by fear. When she prepared to leave, Amara was engulfed by a maelstrom of emotions, including fear, apprehension, and an intense determination. This journey represented not only a mission of rescue but also a poignant return to the land of her birth, a land from which John had once rescued her. Now, it was her turn to save him. Equipped with her exceptional intellect, indomitable courage, and deep resolve, Amara set off on her mission. The vision of John, vulnerable and awaiting her return, fueled her determination to overcome any obstacle. This mission was more than a mere act of rescue, it was a testament to her love, gratitude, and unwavering hope for the man who had fostered her growth and supported her through her journey of self-discovery. Two decades after her departure, Amara found herself back on African soil, confronting a mix of familiar sights and foreign elements. This return was not for reminiscence but for a critical, dangerous endeavor. She faced a labyrinth of challenges, navigating through complex bureaucratic hurdles and the dark underbelly of the mineral trade, all while rediscovering her roots and connecting with her heritage. Amidst her mission, Amara was drawn to the rich culture of her homeland, uncovering family ties and embracing the resilience of her people. Her journey revealed new aspects of her identity, intertwining her American accomplishments with the strength of her African heritage. Each discovery fueled her determination to succeed in her mission for John, the man who had offered her a chance at a life beyond the scars of war. Amara's quest led her to confront formidable challenges, including a direct confrontation with a warlord controlling the supply of the vital mineral. Leveraging her engineering expertise and sheer willpower, she devised a daring plan to secure the mineral while preserving the local ecosystem. Upon successful acquisition of the rare mineral and a harrowing return to the United States, Amara was transformed. She arrived at the hospital, the crucial ingredient for John's treatment in hand, marking the beginning of a tense, hopeful wait for his recovery. Miraculously, John's condition began to improve, symbolizing the culmination of Amara's heroic effort. In saving John, Amara did more than fulfill a duty, she acted out of profound love and gratitude, completing an extraordinary cycle of mutual salvation. 
Through this journey, Amara not only reconnected with her roots but also discovered an inner strength and resilience. The bond between the once vulnerable girl from Africa and the brave pilot who saved her had evolved into an unbreakable connection of love, gratitude, and shared destiny, illustrating the transformative power of compassion and courage. That's all about our story, if you like this story, please like and subscribe to the channel, and see you in the next story. Ecosystem Upon successful acquisition of the rare mineral and the harrowing return to the United States, Amara was transformed. She arrived at the hospital, the crucial ingredient for John's treatment in hand, marking the beginning of a tense, hopeful wait for his recovery. Miraculously, John's condition began to improve, symbolizing the culmination of Amara's heroic effort. In saving John, Amara did more than fulfill a duty, she acted out of profound love and gratitude, completing an extraordinary cycle of mutual salvation. Through this journey, Amara not only reconnected with her roots but also discovered an inner strength and resilience. The bond between the once vulnerable girl from Africa and the brave pilot who saved her had evolved into an unbreakable connection of love, gratitude, and shared destiny, illustrating the transformative power of compassion and courage. That's all about our story, if you like this story, please like and subscribe to the channel, and see you in the next story.